Hi, my name is Andrew Fadgis, and today we're going to continue on with the uh, series of flows and looking at the opportunity-based flows again. Uh, this particular use case, what we're, what we're looking at is making it easier once your reps or your salespeople have closed one an opportunity. Now we, we understand, you know, in the in the business world, you probably have many in-flight opportunities all at once. Uh, they could be for the same product, uh, get hitting different. Um, personas, or even different products altogether. Now, for one reason or another, your business might want to consider once you close win one opportunity, you wouldn't want to continue trying to sell to them, at least for a cooling off period. So in this particular flow that we're going to look at, we're going to try and see if we can solve that problem. So I'm going to look at my record here first to start off with. I've got my United Oil and Gas Corp company, and that has, at the moment, it has three open opportunities. Now, the aim here is we're going to change this one to close one, and we want to just close loss the remaining opportunities for now. So to do this in flow, we're going to create a very simple record triggered flow. I say simple because as you can see on my screen, it's only got one element in it, and it achieves everything you need in this. Previously in flows, couldn't do it as simple and compact as this, but with the advancements flows made recently, you can do it. So starting off, we're going to have a record triggered flow. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the trigger is when the record is updated and we're going to run the flow after the record is saved. The reason we run it after is because we want to be pulling and updating data from related records and we're going to be pulling that via lookup. The second part of this is the, op uh, the object we're going to choose and that's opportunity and the conditions we're going to apply. So in these particular um, conditions, we already said that when it updates, but we're going to narrow that update down. So we want it to be stage name is changed and set that to a global constant variable of true. So what that means is when you go over here in your value section, you have two sections here. It can either be true uh, or it can be false. So in this case, true. So we're making sure that the stage name has been changed and that the stage name equals close one. So what we're saying is the record's been updated. The stage name was changed during that update and it was changed to equal closed one. Yeah, finally, our last step, and that is updating. So we're going to use a update um, element, very simple here, and the object is opportunity. And what we're going to do is we're going to specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually. So we specified the object is opportunity. The condition is where account ID equals our records account ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all the opportunities that are linked to the same account as the one that started this flow and where the field is closed is equal to false. So that automatically eliminates the record that trigger the flow because that is closed field is now true, as well as any other closed one or closed lost fields. We don't want to be making redundant updates and we also don't want to be closed lost of any records that have been previously closed one. Very simple at the bottom here. We set our field values. So we set stage name equal close loss. And it's as simple as that. Very simple flow that can be immensely powerful. And what we could even do is taking the flow from our previous one and combining it. And if you remember back to our previous session, we talked about opportunity, creating a renewal opportunity. You can combine those two together. But there'll be more to come on that combination in a later video and how that would look. So let's put this to action. I've activated it. I've also tested it using my debug over here. And let's put this into action. So I'm gonna open up this particular opportunity. We're gonna update this opportunity to closed. And when we do that, we wanna set our close stage. So we set it to closed one. We're gonna go ahead and click save here. So this has updated our record here. And in the back, our flow has gone ahead and triggered. It's gonna go through and update our account record accordingly. So we go to our account. We're gonna have a look at our linked opportunities and you can see now they're closed lost and closed lost. So it's as simple as that. A very simple flow to save you and your team plenty of time. Be sure to put a comment out there if you like it or share these videos accordingly and give some suggestions if you wanna see something else. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.